Calumet, Michigan, a tight-knit community, once the center of mining in the UP, now celebrated for its ties to hockey. In a place like the Coliseum, you can always find someone there. Someone like Robert Urkula, or Bob. His kids knew if he wasn't at home or at work, he was at the Coliseum, watching his friends, his children, his grandchildren, or the hometown Copper Kings play. Bob could be found somewhere around the building. Talk to me about Bobby. Robert Ercola, he, he, he was a good, good friend of mine before he, we got involved in hockey. And, and of course, uh, I know Bobby, we were golf partners and bowling partners and stuff like that. But hockey-wise, Bobby was early, early involved even when he was a teenager in hockey. And uh, uh, through, through the years, uh, we, we call Bobby our historian. Yeah, Bob was that, he, that constant figure here. Bob was, you know, he was involved with high school hockey. He was involved with junior hockey. He was involved with the Wolverines. He was, he was always here. He was always involved. You know, he did it for his kids, and he did it for all the other kids that were in the association. So those, those, those types of people are few and far between. Bob's impact on the Coliseum can be seen by the pictures lining the walls, the names that fill the Calumet alumni board right as you walk in, articles that speak to his passion of the game, and the banners that wave over the crowd as the young men and women skate their hearts out. Well, he was like a fixture here. You know, he did, like I said, everything you see on the walls, he, he helped us put it up. All the articles that are written about, about uh, hockey players that came and left here, Bobby wrote all those up. He did all the stats for it. High school teams, senior teams, uh, for all those years. He wrote articles for the newspaper for us. So, we, we miss him terribly. Bob and his wife, Virginia, had a large family, 10 children, and all four boys played hockey. I have grown up with Bob. Bob and my dad were very good friends um, for many, many years. So yes, I, my brothers were um, same age as a lot of Bob's kids, and, and um, yeah, I've grown up and now I've coached Bob, so probably five to seven of Bob's grandkids over the last ten years too. So, as his kids grew up, the Urkula family quadrupled in size. By the end of his life, Bob had 42 grandchildren and six great grandchildren, many of whom play the game he couldn't get away from. He watched 11 games in one day because he didn't want to miss one of his grandkids. And they were all playing locally, and he just went from kid to kid and watched them all. One of Bob's grandsons, Samuel, was the captain of the Calumet Copper Kings when he was in high school, and it always motivated Sam to look up and see his grandpa watching and commentating on his game. It's, uh, you know, pretty special to have, you know, someone like that watching over every game. You, like, I'd look up and, you know, you see him up there and, you know, it's kind of like, you know, gets you going. You know, you want, you want to play good for him because he, you know, loves the sport so much. You know, he loves watching it. You know so much about the game, you want to impress him. You look up to him a lot. Sam made his debut on September 13th for the Grand Prairie Storm in the Alberta Junior Hockey League. The very next day, Sam scored his first goal for the Storm. I imagine Bob was looking down on him. Yeah, I, I think he was. I, I always think he's watching, no matter what. Watching or listening. Or, you know, I know he's there supporting me all the way. No matter what, all the time. Bob passed away peacefully at his home on February 16th this year before he knew the Coliseum would play host to two NHL teams. In dedication to Bob's impact on the Calumet hockey community, the Coliseum's press box has officially been named the Bob Urkula Press Box. The defenders were not able to tie him up in Hannon. Johnny on the spot, put it underneath the pad. Wow. For a gremlin, one nothing lead, 18 seconds into the period. Friends and family say Bob would be excited to see the Coliseum transform. How excited do you think he would be about hockey? Oh, though? he would. He would be. He would be here every day. He, he, it would be hard to keep him out of this building. 
And not only that, he would be helping us. He would be on our committees, he would be on our work, work committees, and he, he would be here every day. Oh God, he'd probably set up a cot in here. <laughs> I, get, I, I would most likely guarantee that if they were coming up here, my dad would um, be a person that would take them around, show them the town, show them their coliseum, and give them all the history on that because he knows everything about the history of our town. Bob may not be with us today, but his presence can be felt throughout the coliseum. Well, thank you. I enjoyed doing it. But uh, we'll, uh, we'll look at it next year, and uh, if all goes well for us, yep. and maybe we'll do it again.